Exeter, home of Coldplay's Chris Martin. Exeter, home of, uh, Coldplay's Chris Martin. Exeter, home of week five of the Premier League darts. Did I mention Chris Martin? It was all yellow. Roll credits. Oh, hello. What a match. What a performance. This is brilliant. Who will be the winner? No prizes to guess where I am this week. It's week five of the Betway Premier League and I come to you from the home of Chris Martin. Yes, a very warm welcome to Exeter. Dan meets up with the Hurricane, Kim Hybrex. Well, it's the walk-on girls versus the fans in our very special On The Wire Does, Don't Forget The Lyrics. And as always, Betway tell us how to win some cash. Yes, and as always, Rod Harrington brings us up to date with all the action. Take it away, Rod. Well, thanks, John. What about Kim Hybrex tonight? He played brilliant last week and didn't get a win. But this evening, played brilliant against Barney and our man Dave Allen caught up with him. Um, I knew if I could continue this, this level, which is really hard, then, then you, you're going to get some points eventually. And um, luckily for me, it was a similar average and uh, I got to two points. Is it a little bit of a weight off your shoulders to get that first win? Yeah, of course, because you don't want to be in the relegation zone. Um, one point. Um, you want to get safe and you want to get the two points and then and, and you're looking forward to the next game and, and but you think in relegation zones so, so I'm really really delighted to get the two points. Another player that needed a win tonight, Stephen Bunton and he didn't miss any doubles and Dave Allen had a word with him as well. You looked like you were relishing it up there tonight. I loved it uh, from the start of the walk on uh, right through to the end double. I, uh, I absolutely loved it. Got an interview with Sky at the end which was a bonus and uh, yeah just got to keep winning and uh, all the interviews are cool. And I guess a win like that will be great for your confidence going into the UK Open this weekend. Massive, yeah, massive. Um, obviously, I, uh, there's still improvement to be made, but uh, yeah, uh, it's, as you said before, it's been well documented about the darts and everything, and maybe that's been in the back of my mind. Maybe my form, confidence is a massive thing in darts, and uh, that's going to give me a lot of it and bring on the UK Open. Right, other matches this evening. Phil Taylor took on James Wade and like last week against Anderson, James Wade got out the gate quick but could not sustain that form. Taylor went on to win 7-5. Peter Wright against Michael Van Gerwen. A bit of niggle. We love a bit of niggle in this game. Too much lovey-dovey in my eyes. That was a six-all draw. Peter Wright really getting used to those new darts. In the last game of the evening, two of the highest scorers in that game of darts. Dave Chisnell took on Gary Anderson. And it was Dave Chisnell that got out of the gate quick and he led all the way, beating Gary Anderson, the world champion, seven legs to two. Well, our man Dan caught up with Kim Hybrex. Kim, welcome to the Betway Premier League. Thank you. How does it feel to be making your debut in the tournament this year? Well, it's amazing. I uh, never expect to be here this year. Um, but when they said the name, I was really surprised and, and very, very happy. How, so when you were like, hearing the announcement, what were you doing? Did you have like the family crowded round? Were people no, no. You weren't expecting uh, no, it I, was, I was by myself because, um, well, in Belgium, it's, it's an hour later as well. So uh, Dana was already asleep, my girlfriend. So I watched the final, uh, Gary against Phil, and then um, my manager texts me, I'm nervous, and I'm like, why? He said, oh, the Premier League announcement is going to be there. So uh, I watched it, and then I heard my name. So I shied it to my girlfriend, said, Dana, Dana, I'm in the Premier League. But she was asleep. She went like, oh, OK. <laughs> and she just went back to sleep. So, uh, But then the next morning was amazing, unbelievable. This is a big, big year for Belgian dots. I mean, not only are you yep. making your debut in the Premier League, but we're getting a tournament out there as well. I mean, this yep. is massive news for you yeah, guys, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we're very happy uh, over in Belgium. I've seen a lot of exciting um, posts on Facebook and Twitter uh, about darts in Belgium now. It's, it's, it's amazing for all those people around there because they, they live for darts as well and they deserve a, a, a tournament where they can don't have to travel hours to see a Belgian darts player play darts, so, so it's amazing for those people. Now, if it wasn't for the fact that the Belgian football team have suddenly got amazing in the last few years, and Eden Hazard yeah. and Witzel and all those guys, you'd be like Belgium's top sportsman, <laughs> wouldn't you? Is, is, is this an issue? Do you think you can still get that coveted number one spot off Eden Hazard at some point? <laughs> I don't think so, don't think so. He makes too much money for that, so. Are you 
more recognised over here or back in Belgium? Yeah, it, it, more it, over here. Cause do you think that could change though over the next few years? I hope so, but darts is on, on TV in Belgium, so uh, sometimes I get invited for uh, talk shows, but the sport itself isn't really on TV in Belgium, so to be famous in something it has to be a bit more on TV and you have to be more on the screen. Uh, and that's not what really happening in uh, Belgium at the moment. So, but maybe in the future we'll be more on uh, on TV, the tournaments. Have you you've been on Belgian talk show? What like yeah. the sort of Jonathan Ross equivalent? Do you know Jonathan Ross? No, no, no I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know the Belgian Jonathan Ross. I don't know. Maybe you do. Never mind. Thank you, Kip. You're welcome. Right, I'll tell you, get on it. A week two of our walk on girls against the fans, and this week we get musical. Hello and welcome to On The Wire does Don't Forget The Lyrics. We're in the wonderful city of Exeter, home of Chris Martin from Coldplay. So let's get on with the game. Two teams, a selection of Chris Martin is from Exeter, so it's Coldplay. This is not all contrived. Songs and don't forget the lyrics. Here's your first one. But it flew away from a reach, and the ball is catching a team. Life goes on, it gets so Something butterfly. Do you know it? Do you know it? I don't know. Like do you, know it? Not, no. you forgot no. the lyrics, you disgrace! Oh, 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 oh. And Just another. Broken. Broken into two. Still, I call it magic. When I'm with you. Did I get it or not? No! <laughs> Another Exeter's Chris Martin from Coldplay Tune. Be my mirror sword and shield. Missionary in a foreign field. Correct! <laughs> and another swam across. Jump to cross for you. Oh, what a thing to do. Yellow. 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 Oh, yellow. <laughs> yellow. It? It's a tie break. Who's going to win? Down below. Yeah. We're too love to let it. But if you never try, then you never know. Correct! We <laughs> win! Congratulations! You are our Exeter base, Chris Martin from Coldplay, not at all forced. Don't forget the lyrics game winner! Your prize is. Probably very little, just a conscious uncoupling from this ever so slightly contrived bit of the show. Join us next week to take part! Well, next week we're in the home of the Arrows, Nottingham, Robin Hood country. And another night, and it's getting really crucial, especially at the bottom. Four players on three points, so some wins have got to go on the board. Well, first up, Stephen Bunting takes on Dave Chisnell. And if you take the form of this week in Exeter, that should be a cracker. Dave Chisnell, a lot of 180s tonight. Next game up. Barney against James Wade. Both players have been playing well, but not putting wins on the board. So it's crucial for one of those, especially Barney, to get a win. And then Taylor against Van Gerwen. Game of the night. The old man against the youngster. Who's going to win that crucial game as well, especially for Van Gerwen. Anderson against Lewis. Another all nail biting game. 180s, 140s. Lewis has got to get his form going. Didn't play that well in Exeter tonight. Anderson, well, against Chisnell. Chisnell just did everything. It's going to be a close one. And then last up, Kim Hybrex. He's on three points against Peter Wright on three points. They play brilliant here in Exeter, so I expect a close game there as well. Well, that's it from Exeter for On The Wire. We'll be in Nottingham next week. But don't forget, from tomorrow, Friday, we have the UK Open from Minehead, live on ITV4. Check out more of On The Wire by clicking here. Oh, hello! Oh, 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 oh. What a 
performance! This is brilliant. Who will be the winner?